Tracy returns to the stables in her riding attire. Anne is in a mood as she hasn't had coffee, and her horse bit her. Ned enters, and she hopes he doesn't have any drama to dump on her. He has no drama and asks about the horse bite. She says it was just a nip. She admits it was her fault as she didn't read him right and pushed him too early in the morning. Ned breaks out a first aid kit for his mom, and she asks why he's here and what his issues are today. Ned says he just wanted to check on her as he knows it's Luke's birthday. She wonders how he knows, and he says it's in Monica, Lois, and Olivia's calendar, as well as his. He admits he had reservations about her quasi-legal marriages to him. She reflects on their marriages, their misadventures, and how they found one another for real later on. Ned knows Luke was the love of his mother's life. Tracy misses how resilient Luke was and how he could always improvise and adapt. Without him, she feels like she's barely keeping her head above water. She tells Ned to stop her from babbling, but he wants her to know she can go on like this any time, and he won't think she's any less of her. He also liked seeing how happy Luke made her. They embrace, and she thanks him for the support and his ear. Michael meets with Christina at Bobby's, and she knows something is up. He tells her they have a problem, and she immediately assumes it's with their dad. Michael says things are pretty tense between their dad and Ava, and he just had a blow-up with Sonny over their looming custody battle. He thinks their dad won't win custody of Avery. He recounts their argument and how there is no way he can get on the stand in this hearing to testify, as anything he says might set Sonny off. Christina empathizes with him. Michael says they need to protect Avery, and their father's failings pale compared to Ava's. They need someone to testify for their father, but who? Christina suggests Carly, but Michael says their entire messy history would be brought up. Dante is also a problem as Sonny shot him. Michael feels their dad needs someone who always sees the best in him, someone like her. Christina reminds him she saw their father beat up Dex, so she's as much a liability on the stand as he is. Michael says this leaves their dad all on his own. Michael thinks about Sonny, his mom, AJ, and the lifelong grudges they've held, and he doesn't want that for his kids. He wants them to let things go, and it's the least he can try to do with their dad. Christina points out that their father isn't extending the same courtesy to him. Michael can't forget the good times with their dad, and to be a good father to his kids, he needs to know he tried his best with his own father. Christina gets it, as what he did with Dex doesn't outweigh the years of love and support he showed her. Carly shows up at Sonny's, and he assumes Michael talked to her. She has no idea what he's talking about, but is here to let him know Kate's wants to take him down. Sonny thinks it's time for someone to beat that smirk off Kate's face. She tells him not to go ordering his men to beat him up on the docks again. Carly warns that Kate's is on a mission, and he's asking questions. She brings up Dex's beating and asks if anyone knows about it, say someone who would talk to Kate's. Sonny admits Ava knows. Carly says if Kate's takes Ava's side in this upcoming custody hearing, that's a big issue. Sonny admits he's already messed up, and he tells her about his fight with Michael. He asks her if she can talk to Michael and smooth things over. Carly says it's not up to her to fix things between them, and he treats everyone as disposable, and anyone he hasn't pushed away is walking away from him. Sonny says that's not true. Carly asks Sonny if he has one friend who will stand beside him no matter what. He responds, you. She reminds him that he called her a traitor and said all their years together and kids meant nothing to him. And that's how he wanted it. Carly says, I'm not cleaning up your messes anymore, you are on your own. She storms out. Kate shows up to meet with Ava at the Metro Court. She invites him into her room, and he says he wanted to check on her after their last talk. She informs him about working with her lawyer Scott to try and strategize against Sonny. Kate's fumes over how people always seem to side with Sonny, and Ava admits she's terrified of taking him on and feels alone. He lets her know she's not alone. They chat about Sonny, and Kate's rants about how Sonny victimizes women, yet somehow she broke free of that mold. 
Emma tells him how she and Sonny fought over custody of Avery for a long time, and more recently, she believed Sonny trusted her and thought of her as a friend. However, he's become so erratic and volatile that she doesn't think he knows what is going on from one moment to the next.